Fred is trying to turn the bolt. The force that he pushes on is minus 20 pounds in the I direction and minus 30 pounds in the J direction. We know that the bolt is the, this 3I plus 4J plus 7K inches away from the force and that the bolt lies along the K axis. So our bolt is straight up and down. What we need to do is figure out what the moment is because we're trying to turn the bolt. So F is 20 pounds in the I direction minus 30 pounds in the J direction. We know that the unit vector along the bolt, so along our axis, is going to be K. The R we're given in the problem, R is from the bolt to the application of the force, so this is going to be from minus, two minus from, it's going to give us actually this R vector. And the moment at the bolt head is R cross F. R goes on top, so they've got 3, 4, 7 on the top, minus 20, minus 30, and 0 on the bottom. Go ahead and do the cross product. This gives us the moment at the head of the bolt, 4 minus 0, minus 30 times 7 in the I direction. Don't forget the minus sign when you're doing these cross products for the J component. 3 times 0 and minus 20 times 7. So the minus component has this negative right here that people often forget. And then I've got 3 minus 30 minus 20 and 4 in the K direction. You multiply that out. That's minus uh, positive 210I minus 140J and minus 10k. Now, the i and j components will be essentially pushing on the side of the bolt. It's going to take my bolt and turn it this way and that way, which is not going to screw the bolt in. So only, in fact, only the k component of our turning the bolt will actually help turn the bolt. So this is this minus 10.0 inch pounds. That's the component along the axis of the bolt. Because we don't always know that we have this easy bolt lies in the K direction, we actually want to say that the moment along the axis, whatever it is, is the dot product of the moment somewhere and the unit vector along the axis. So our unit vector along the axis is K. So if we take the dot product of M and K, 210I minus 14J minus 140J minus 10K, and the dot product our unit vector is just k because our bolt is in the k direction. That gives us the minus 10 inch pounds that we had before. You can also, as a third web method, this is second method, this is the third method, do what we call a triple product, where you're going to take the dot product at the same time. And that essentially stacks up your unit vector, your r vector, and your force vector all on top of each other. And you only have to do the determinant once. If you do the determinant of that matrix, you get minus 10 inch pounds.